I'm Ryan Fuller, I'm a clinical psychologist and I practice in New York City. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the role of pride or self-esteem and anger and aggression. So what's been purported in lots and lots of books and certainly by even teachers and parents and uh, all kinds of adults and children alike across time is the idea that aggression and bullying and, and these kinds of things are a function of low self-esteem. Well, it turns out this might be a myth. So interestingly, if we look at anger from an ABC model where A is an activating event and B is a belief about that event or the other person and C are the emotional consequences like anger. Oftentimes what happens is we have someone who comes in to a situation and they're insulted. And that would be the activating event where they perceive an insult having occurred and their ego is threatened. Their, their self-esteem, for instance, is threatened. And they believe that shouldn't happen they have to protect that, and it might mean that they're not a good person. Maybe they're, they're worth less if they don't prove themselves in that situation. And that oftentimes can lead to anger and aggression. So interestingly, even though all along we believed self-esteem is the thing we need more of, the evidence turns out that the higher our self-esteem, in fact, the farther we have to fall. And in fact, that concept of self-esteem might be quite dangerous. So if I really believe I'm very, very, very good, I may in fact be more sensitive to insults. And in fact, I might really try to protect my identity and any time I perceive a potential slight, could even be an ambiguous situation, I may be more prone to be aggressive. Whereas someone with low self-esteem, although they might want to protect their own identity, they don't value themselves very much, it's less likely that they're gonna perceive an insult to be in fact lower than they already value themselves. So in fact, the idea that self-esteem is tied to aggression might actually be the case, but it might be that it's high self-esteem that's sort of fragile um, or unstable that's really the issue, not low self-esteem.